fucking problem child in school. Okay, we're recording. Aren't you? <laughs> Why don't you have the cast the next week? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait, that's not the one that... What, where's the one that was like... Greeks, right? What do they call those things? Yeah, oh, Spanish okay. cast Oh. Yeah. Baba knows where they are. What is it? The intro. The intro. This is the intro, bro. Here we are. So that was a nice little uh, addition you put there for the. What do you want to that call? That wasn't the. That wasn't the intro that we heard last week. Yes, it is. With the little, with the clapping. Oh, bro. What, oh, no. what are you talking about? Did we about? do unplug last week? We did unplug. Last yeah, we didn't week. unplug. This we is did. unplugged. Oh wait. But that that is a different intro. Bro, what what wait. universe are you in? No, I've heard this one before. I've heard that one a million times. Well, yeah, we we've done like 150 shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what I'm saying is the the other song that you played last week, and I was like, I've never heard this one. Mm. And you said to me, you've never heard it because you always talk over the intro. Oh, that's I'm right, like, that's right. That was a just like intro. we did today. That was a different intro song. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Well, will you go back next week and look at it? <laughs> hey, you can go on YouTube and check it out. Yeah, sure. it's actually yeah. we have a YouTube channel. Did you know play that? that. <laughs> that's what you should be doing. Play that up. Yeah. I don't no, know. don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. It's okay. We'll check after. Actually, you know what, Monica. Open up a new screen there while we do the, the proper intro. This is the recipe unplugged version of what we do here. So welcome in everybody. Vina, it's always good to, to see you and chat with you, bro. What's going on? Yeah. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna you know pull up that YouTube. Uh, is it is it circling or what is it doing? For which one? Oh, you have it ready? No, I'm gonna have uh, I have Monica pull up pull it push the YouTube there and then do recipe recipe podcast. So we're gonna we're gonna research this real quick. <clears throat> So this is the recipe podcast. Welcome in. This is the unplugged version, which means we have no idea what we're going to say, what we're going to do, and uh, we're happy to uh, come to you and and uh, share with you. We got the Bobbit in house. Hey, Bobby, Bobby, you've been away. Yeah. Yeah. You you had like a she's had like a, a, a three week celebration, uh, Christian. What do you think about that? Has it been three weeks? It seems like it, right? <laughs> Christian, I, you're celebrating a lot, <laughs> right? I mean, lots much. to celebrate. Why? graduated yeah that's true oh. christian when you graduated was you had like you went to lunch somewhere right no no I, not even not even that lunch right wasn't interested right so that was just here's your diploma and then doesn't matter i don't even think i was there right for any of it right <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> so yeah so after graduation did you go home and then your parents had a party there or something like that no 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 parties did we're you? more like birthdays are more Birthdays are the ones you get geared up for. Mm. The rest of that stuff is like, what are you celebrating? Right. You, you finished the season of baseball or something like that. Like, that's <laughs> nothing to celebrate. Well, the 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 Bobbit has has a three week. Uh, that is something to celebrate. T- tradition of graduation. I'm only oh, saying this in my case. Yeah. <laughs> I would have think that that you survived and you gra- <laughs> You got something wrong with your neck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think like this thing is. That's because the cord's supposed to be on your left hand side. You always had a problem with those those headsets. That makes no sense for me to cross. Then I have this thing across my neck. Right. Okay. All right. So I would think that when you graduated from high school, everybody said, "Holy shit, <laughs> he did it." Well, I always did. I did well <laughs> with classes. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like I had good grades, so mm. I never was worried about that part. It was just it was always something going on, like something that made no sense. Really silly shit. Like, <laughs> like I had a guy jump me like when I went outside. Uh, with my at graduation with, no I'm oh. talking about like during the school year oh, this yeah. is like one of the things that got me in bad shape that's why I had to leave that school and then right. I went, and then I went away for two and then I came back for senior year why'd he jump you Drugs. because you're not gonna believe this this sounds stupid <laughs> this is like this is like a west side story he shows up <laughs> I'm not kidding bro can you sing no oh, okay, it's not sorry. about singing right. it's about the other part All right. he shows up and he says uh, hey I hurt I'm, I'm not even bullshit. I feel, so, <laughs> I feel so stupid saying it, but he says, I heard you said I was a shitty dancer. Look at him. Look at him. Uh, it's so stupid. And what was his name? His name was Timmy. Timmy. Uh, I, you know what? I wish That's he would. even worse. If I there's bet. any been a time I've wanted somebody to hear me, Timmy, if you're out there. Timmy, Timmy's, a, Timmy's a, Greek, a Greek guy. Uh-huh. Really, I ended up like loving this guy, like awesome. I didn't know him from any. I didn't know him from anywhere. Can we get him on the phone? <clears throat> May I don't know. I'm sure we could catch him because a lot of people from Queens still live in Queens. So it's like when I reach back out and they're like, oh yeah, I know what this guy's doing, that guy's doing. It's like I don't know any of that. I don't know. I don't. I guess I don't care. I mean, but I do care if something bad happened. But all the other stuff is like good. Tim is a shitty dancer. 
Yes. Bottom it, line. Listen to this. He went to Holy Cross High School, and I went to St. Francis Prep. They were an all boys school. We were co ed. And we were on the same street, just like a few miles away. And he was from Holy Cross, and I guess we had, I had a cousin who went there, not a real cousin, but a cousin, and a couple, <laughs> of, <laughs> and a couple of other dudes that I grew up with that went to Holy Cross. So those guys, you would think they would have tipped me off. But apparently, like, somebody over there, and this was, like, a big deal. You went out dancing, and I'm t- we're, like, 13, 14. This is freshman year. Where do you go dancing, bro? When you're At, it was a place in uh, uh, on Bell Boulevard called Avanti. I mean, like, this is a terrible 80s name. And it was 1988, 89 then. Uh, Avanti. 89, 90. And, uh, and you would go, and you, as a teenager, you can go to that dance club. So we went as 15-year-olds or 14-year-olds. 15 year olds I think and when you went it was the real deal so if somebody was like you know there would be always one song everybody liked and then a circle would yeah would, yeah and then one person goes in the middle and does their thing exactly hey so bro can you do a little bit no no let's, come, let's, on. Dumb. That, come on that would be dumb no I would, we would like to see it the audience wants it. the YouTubers no want it. no no nobody okay. would nobody's gonna sit around for that. okay all right <laughs> so anyway long I already made it a, a very short story long and, and they you go in there you do your thing and I, and I shit you not, I had never seen this guy's face in my life. So how could I know if he was a good dancer? And really, is that enough cause to want to fight someone? Right. And everybody wore, wore these duck, go, you know, down goose jackets that, okay. that are in again. They yeah. used to be... Gotcha. Used, you remember them? Yeah, the puffy jackets. Triple yeah. fat goose, they were called. Huh. And tri- if you didn't have a triple fat goose in Queens in 1989... You're nobody. You were a chump. Yeah. You were a chump. <laughs> so everybody had a different length one. Short one, long one. And, uh, and me and my... My other cousin, Gonzalo, who's, Cause. Not, who's not a real cousin. Okay, right. Can you call him um, Cuz? Okay. Yeah, well, his name was almost the same as mine. And, right. And he uh, he was wearing his, and he, I'm walking down. It was almost felt like somebody was waiting for us. I was walking down. I was like, why is the path clearing, you know? <laughs> and I get to it, and there's this, dude, there's this dude looking at me. And I don't think he had a triple five, but I did. And that shit is like... You're not moving in this thing. You know, it's like it's almost like you walk like a penguin. I don't know why that was cool back then, but it's so puffy. And I'd show up and he says to me, Hey, and I was like, dude, I don't even know you. He's like, Well, you fucking said it. And he goes, Boom. And he that's smacks it. you in the face? Oh, punch. And I I don't know if it caught me good or not. It didn't make a difference because by then my adrenaline, it was like almost like Gonzalo like was like my assistant. I was like, Whoa. And I ripped that shit off like this, and it was like, oh. next thing you know, his his braces are like half hang, hanging off. It made me so angry that somebody would come and want to fight me. I was like, it got, you know, no, everybody protected it from not being broken up. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> it was like this dude was coming to St. Francis to jump, and he had a bunch of his Holy Cross geeks with him, uh-huh. right? Um, and I guess he was a big deal over there because he played basketball. He was like, a, you know, kind of an athlete, even though it was like, I guess it was sophomore year. And he gets back up, and the whole thing gets split up. And inside, they see it through the window, and I get suspended for the fight. And I was like, I can't believe this. And there were a lot of people. That's a, that's a perfect example. I ended up becoming friends with the dude because he was like, oh, this guy told me this. There was another guy who was with him, this guy named Sergio. He's probably out there, too, now. I remember last year he lived in Brooklyn. Now, was he, was he a cuz, too? No, no Sergio okay, wasn't, my, wasn't my friend. For some reason, he and I had beef. I don't know, understand why. It's because of a girl. And... <laughs> It's because of a girl. I remember her name was Monica. They're not, they're not gonna see this. Oh, anyway, Monica just it was you, was it? Yeah, no, I don't think right. so. Monica. Yeah, right. yeah. She was a pretty girl, man. And uh, and Monica and I dated. Or we hung out, and then the, then she was this guy's full time girlfriend, and I had only hung out with her, you know. And so this guy hated me over that. Anyway, he started the thing. He know he knew this dude Timmy would be easily baited. <laughs> hey Timmy, oh, whatever. Yeah, you know Christian Vargas. I oh, know. I don't even know whatever. Yeah, he said he's a. Uh, Say you're a shitty dancer. You say you're a piece of shit out there, you know? And that was like, if you go out there, you're kind of half decent. You don't have any old Joe just jumping in. And I, w- I would go in there. So like I said, I would have thought, hey, I'd look at him. I'm like, damn, I did see this guy. He sucked. Or I did see this guy. He's actually pretty good. Didn't give me a chance to say anything. Mm-hmm. Fight was on. So I got suspended from that. And then, like I said, years later, he was actually the maitre d', if not the GM of Milos, in New York, oh, which is the Milos of Las Vegas, which is probably the best Greek seafood restaurant, I mean, at, at the high end in all of the U.S. I don't want to say something because I, I don't know for sure. But in terms of fancy Greek restaurants, there's nothing like Milos. And that was a, that was one of the most popular restaurants. So in have the you re- reconnected with Timmy? <clears throat> no. I think we should call him. 
it was up to college, probably right before college is the last time. Jay, can you call Timmy real quick? Okay. Can you get the speaker phones over there? All right, all right, Monica, <laughs> see if we can get him on the phone. Hey, but this guy, this guy had me beat by about probably about five inches taller than me or something. That's a big deal when you're that age. And I had the challenge of taking the jacket off, so I took I took a couple of shots, right, unprotected. Well, such a tragic uh, graduation, <clears throat> man. I'm sorry about all that. It wasn't a graduation. Oh man. Well, well, we were talking about uh, the Bob. You were saying if somebody was so happy at gra- right. uh, my graduation, right, right. right. Like, it didn't, you know, the grades were fine. I just got in trouble for dumb stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there you have it, Bobby. Yeah. Do you have a story that can that can uh, that can come Not up on off that one? Not the top of my head. <laughs> I mean, I've never been jumped before. No, no, never been punched in the face. No. All right. Well, let's get back to the the, the our intro. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna do sponsors here in a minute. We're a little bit behind. <laughs> <laughs> because, I'm sorry, man. No, no, it's all good. It's all good because now we know about Timmy. And I think that could be a show. I always had a regret about Timmy. Mm. And you, Oh, you want to hear the best part? What's the best this part? is a short short thing. All right. But three years later, my girlfriend, Nikki, uh, this guy, Timmy, he went to the same high school as her. She went to a public high school down around you know down the block, Cardozo. And I was the same as prep. And she and I had been dated for like a year. And we went to prom together. We went to my prom together. Then we went to her prom together. So she was the same age as Timmy at Cardozo. And guess who she went to the prom with? Timmy. You know, with, with Timmy. <laughs> That's the kind of dude I am. I let... Who, who does that? That's how sh- kind of sure of myself I was at that age. I was like, oh, you want to go to the prom with Timmy, the guy I beat up three years l- earlier? Yeah, no problem. And she went. So that we said, hey, Timmy, um, I feel I feel bad. So what I thought I'd do is I know, that, I know. that no. you could take my girl to the prom. No, come on. Um, this isn't, it wasn't the 50s. It wasn't okay. like he had, I had to go check. <laughs> you know, he had to come check with me or whatever. Right. Or vice versa. No, I was like, whatever. All right. So, Bob, we got you in-house. We want to hear more about your stuff, Venus Flytrap. Thanks for that uh, story there. And that's pretty cool. Jay, got Jay in the background doing, pushing all the buttons. And uh, actually, stuff is working so far. Hopefully, recording will work. Huh, Bob? I don't know. Yeah. There's a different setup. I don't know about that. Well, you should mess that part up. And then we have... Uh, <laughs> One of our new, one of our new additions, Monica. How you doing? Good. You all right? Yeah. What do you think about all that story? It's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Do you have, do you have any uh, call any uh, high school graduation stories? No. Nobody I didn't really do anything. Nobody punched you in the face or like that. No. No. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a different time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about Jay? Jay, I know you got some stories, bro. I can't tell those. Stories. Come on, man. Tell us about those stories in New Orleans. <laughs> huh? Baton Rouge? No. Where was it? The swamp. Huh? Tell us some of them swamp stories. Uh, uh no, can't do that. All right. <laughs> gonna look do you quiet. know when, when I, I I listen to it back once in a while, uh, the show, and I'll listen to like parts of just see, really just the kind of stuff you fuss about just to see if the levels are, are different, or if like if it doesn't sound good, and when I'm listening, it's like ba 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 ba. This is how I hear it because I'm not really listening that closely. Yeah. And then I'll hear his voice come in, and I'm like, yes. I'm like, every single time when I hear his voice, I'm like, when I'm listening back, it's something about it because it's so out of context. Yeah. And it's like behind the wall. Right. No, yeah. but then you hear it, and then the tone of the voice and how he's, he, yeah. he like delivers monotone, but yeah, yeah. he's kind of smiling at the yeah, same yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. That comes through on the radio. Do, do you, like, you, have, you have an amazing radio voice. Yeah. Did, he did, could have been one of the actors in like the the radio. Times. What was a Tim Allen? The Tim <laughs> Allen show when he talked to the neighbor and, he, and he's like the fence. You know, he, all he saw was his eyes. Do you yes. know what I'm talking? That's what, that's what's going yeah. on. <laughs> all he can see is his eyes over there. Well, Jay, appreciate you me making all that happen. And um, yeah, so we need to thank our sponsors, Jay. If you can help me with that, we have uh, Duncan Coffee. Mills Duncan is the coolest coffee and tea guy. He will help you set up uh, on location uh, tea. It's a complete tea and coffee service in the hotel and restaurant business. So Mills Duncan will he'll come in and also they'll, they'll grind some specialty stuff for you. So that's cool. Aceway Incorporated owner Ricardo is amazing guys. Uh, attention to detail in customer service is amazing. Texas Beef Council. We love them because they love uh, chefs and if you don't eat beef there's something wrong with you Scoffier School of Culinary Arts if you want to get an online education look up at Scoffier School of Culinary Arts and uh, they'll help you with that American Culinary Federation the Bobbitt and I will be on location in August August what Bobbitt? 4? 4th to the 8th I'm sorry I didn't hear you had a cookie in your mouth 4th through the 8th <laughs> okay so the 4th through the 8th will be in uh, Florida we'll be in Orlando for the national convention there so that'll be pretty cool. And um, if you haven't registered, go register, and we'll see you there. If, you can, if you're listening and you're an ACF member and you'll be there, come by the booth and uh, say, hey, as we'll be doing, and maybe we'll get you on the show. 
So there we have it. We're here uh, for the Unplugged. Our, our comedian Eric is out and about. I think he's, he's got a gig somewhere. Good for him. And I did, by the way, I did, uh, I just did, got a text from him. It said that he uh, is available for the next six Saturdays. All so, right. So next week we do an Unplugged, and then the, then the next two I'm gone. So the question is, do you guys want to do a show when, when I'm out? Then, yeah. you, then Christian, you can head it. You can sit over here and, and, and push all the buttons. All right. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I can't push any buttons. Right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Cool. So, so you guys are. Uh, that'll be interesting. I can't wait to hear. Maybe I will call in, and uh, see how you guys are doing. But um, all right. So Monica, we'll put that in the books. Okay. And do we want to go back just to see if what song Christian heard? Do we want to do that? Is that the last one? Yeah. The push, one, yeah. yeah. Push that one. And I see. think it's the Party. Gourmet Club Live. All right, Monica, you recording on yours? Today. Okay. Here was the Charles Clark. Oh. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, it was the Charles Clark. Charles Clark. Charles Clark. It's the Charles Clark one. I'm talking about casting. Are you sure? No. I didn't know you had two intro songs. I, Bro, and, this is high tech. I don't understand why you have two intro songs. Because we have two different shows. So the so the feeling behind the song should be for the show as well. Cause Cause when, please tell me now. Because because when you <laughs> because when you have you know it's in the sound activation time period that you're in right we're in now. So when you hear that sound, you say, "Oh, it's going to be a gourmet club live show." Or if you oh, hear you this one, you're going to oh, this is going to be an unplugged. It's like Pavlov. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And this one's supposed to make me feel what? That, What's coming? Well, we never know what you hear. <laughs> <laughs> What's coming? Yeah. So. And the other one with the castanets, it's like it's time to dance. Yeah. Jay, do you have, can you pull that music up for, for yeah, Gourmet Club Live? Yeah, play that music. That music is cool. Gourmet Club uh, Live? Like, <laughs> no, we, we got it. You don't think so? Go on, um, uh, right Monica, now. go on the YouTube, put, see what other shows are up there. Go on the YouTube. Jay's like, I'm very go, uh, go, go <laughs> scroll down. specific about what I will right do now. and what I won't. Um, yeah, you got to push our, yeah. All right. It was second one. Charles Clark. That's Clark? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. so All right, we're recording and back to unplug. <laughs> see, see, Christian, you're, you always talk through these. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> and then it's pulsating too. Yeah, man. It kind of makes me want to like, yeah, lose that's, my that's mind. Real smoke. Yeah, it's real smoke. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I, know. Dude, I, know. <laughs> I asked that. I asked that like the first time I ever saw it. Remember, I was like, "Man, that's real smoke." You told the you told the guest that. So I did. Yeah. <laughs> that's ridiculous. I wonder what the guest was thinking. They were like, well, "All right, <laughs> if he says so." So Chris, <laughs> the Bobbit brought some cookies. Do you see that? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, when the chef shows up, I'm gonna eat it. All right, so, <laughs> so the show's officially started. Uh, what do we want to talk about? I had, I, I had a, I had a beef. T I had something <laughs> I want to talk about. Got cut out. So something. Sorry. I never get on that thing. <laughs> did Did you know that Pizza Hut has some kind of like insurance? Though, if you go in and you get a pizza and you walk away and you drop it. I thought that was that's Domino's. The stupidest thing I've or is it Domino's? Right? It's Domino's. And that's who, what, who drops their pizza? After that's their right I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Is it Domino's? Yeah. P Domino's Carry pizza. Insurance. Huh? Carry, Carry out insurance. insurance. Who? What, what kind of shit is that? <sighs> What'd you call it? Carry out insurance. Yeah. All right, so what the deal is. It's a gimmick. It is if you take your pizza, and there's a commercial on this. How much How much does the commercial cost, Jay? Half a million. Yeah. Half a million dollars. Half a million dollars to do a commercial. So, so you yeah. go, you go in, and they'll, so they have carry out insurance. Big fucking deal. You go in and get a pizza. You walk out and you drop it. Oh, you can pick up that pizza and go back, and they'll replace it for you. They spent a half a million dollars to tell you that. That's that. That's their new policy. Yeah, that's desperation move. I mean, it's original, but that's a real desperation move. Who drops their pizza? What? The yeah, who drops their pizza? What does it mean? Why? Why? Why do they? make that a thing why do they think why is that a commercial uh, uh, every time i see it i think it's stupid okay so first of all if you're eating domino's pizza in my opinion you're doing it 99.9 .9 percent of the time two different ways you're going to the restaurant <laughs> <laughs> you 
go pick it up and you, you need to have possible? them delivered. Well, hang on. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain. You're going to go you in. You have an, another mouth? You're going to go mm. into the restaurant. Well, you can't and, eat it, Dominic. And you're going to and you're gonna eat in, at, the, at the store. I love when you're like, he already screwed you, man. Well, hang on. Who eats at Domino's? Right, right. I don't think there's you tables can't. there. Well, hey. listen. There, there's they, t- they don't, right? No, no there's, there's no there's tables not. at Dude, Domino's. Dude, you can't eat there, right? Yeah. You can't. There's there's a lean up counter there and oh, shit. Oh, right. <laughs> let's go to the Domino's bar. I've never been to Domino's, to be honest with you. Or you have it deli- clearly. Or you have it, de- <laughs> or you have it delivered, right? So so why is it so? I mean, is there an epidemic of people dropping pizzas? I don't no. think so. Huh? I don't think so. It must be. Commercials are funny. It must be. A lot of people dropping pizzas. Is what I'm thinking. No, it's just exactly. So it's something that they know people won't do, but it still makes you remember. Oh, uh, okay, and that's kind of cool that they do that. But then you're like, but why? It's fucking stupid, I think. Maybe they're trying to get people to go and pick up carryout all the time, so they don't have to deliver. So they have to deliver. Oh, that's a good one. That's mm. probably what it is. Could be. It's got to be something behind it. What do you think, Monica? I don't know. Huh? It's weird. How many pizzas have you dropped? I don't really eat pizza. You don't eat pizza, no. Bob? How many have you dropped? Maybe one. Have you dropped one? But I'm saying pizza? maybe because I yeah. drop a lot of Why don't things. you eat pizza? I don't know. I'm really picky about it. Really? Yeah. Picky how? Like the crust and then the sauce. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So what's your favorite pizza? Papa John's. Yeah, thin, thick, what? Uh, thick, kind of. Thick, thick? Yeah. Jay? I really like it too thin. What about you, Jay? Uh, I like uh, thin meat lovers. How many, how many pizzas have you dropped? I never dropped Never. Pizza. Christian, I know you dropped like four or five. I don't know. I, I don't think I carry the pizza too often. You don't carry it? Yeah, I, actually, I do. You do carry it. Yeah. But I like the pizza here in town. He doesn't know. No, because I was thinking about it. I was like, am I, no, am I the one that does the pickup? Oh, and for you. the most part, nowadays, I am. But growing up, no. I never was involved in the. I just got there and there was pizza. You, you just know? chowed it down, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just like, my yeah. job is to eat the pizza. Right. You're done. So, I don't yeah. want to tell you. But yeah. in New York, you have, like, you know, multiple places that I like the pizza for different reasons. But here in town, I like Romano's. Romano's on West Gray. That's the best. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Write that down. Romano's West Gray. You haven't been? Pull that mic a little closer to you. It's right near the club, man. Is it? Yeah. It's down the block, practically. We get it. They don't deliver. That's the place. West Gray near. What's it near? This is a perfect opposite. This is why they don't deliver. They don't need to. The pizza's so good, people go pick it up. Well, now they can Uber it. Uber uh, Uber maybe eats. the Uber brings. Maybe like, it's I, Uber drivers. I'm not even sure there are Uber Eats. I don't think they trust anybody taking the pizza if they're not the person who bought Where, it. Where's it near the the pizza place you're talking about on West Gray? I go down there a lot. It's yeah, next to Marshalls. Hmm. Oh, down there in that de- in that uh, whole development yeah. there. N- oh. the, next to the, there's a gym there too. Yeah. Okay. You know that you know that right. one. Is it yeah. The, where the salad place is. There's a Home Goods. Yeah, I don't know if it's a salad place. Massage right. Envy. No, I don't know if that's that. I don't know if that's there. <laughs> Whatever, man. I don't know. Whatever the hell that is. It's a massage joint. Okay, I, I didn't pay attention to okay, it. Okay, all right. You just I don't go pizza. cruising for massages. Mm. For the record, I do. By the way, <laughs> yeah, massage clearly, envy. I'm a clearly. member. <laughs> oh, are you really? Yeah. Uh, okay. I gave Bob. Did you ever use that? This you did. How was it? It's good. Yeah. I went to the one by my house. Mm. I get. I'm into foot rubs now. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. And I thought about it forever. I was like, oh, you never know which is the foot rub place you go into that's not seedy and gross. What? There's foot rub places? Why don't well, you just get a pedicure? No, no. Believe me, this is a different situation. This place is, <laughs> I don't this, drive around looking for this, foot rub this places. Place is, <laughs> this, yeah, it's okay. Because this place, but I, I researched it. I didn't drive around like a creep. Right. I researched. I went online. I was like, yeah, all right. You're I'm, a serious foot rub person. I'm like, if I'm going to pay for somebody to touch my feet, mm. um... It's important. It's going to be, be it's good. important. No, it's it's important. And you know what? This person's, think about the act of touching somebody else's feet. Like, God bless this person, you know? Right. <laughs> like, I don't want to touch anybody else's feet. I think it's big in India. Maybe, because people walk around barefoot. Maybe they care. Maybe they don't care. I don't know. But here, I would say, for the most part, keep your feet covered Well, and, as and much the, as you can. The, Mus- the Muslim... Uh, <laughs> is that like old manish or what? <clears throat> no, but but there's there's places in the city usually in the city center um, that there's water uh, you know stations. Yeah, in, in in the city circle and there's they're all in these like the water is connected to the buildings so there's like water faucets and water and there's one high for your hands and whatever and there's one low for your feet and and, and like everybody comes into the 
the city and they say some prayers and they wash themselves and bless themselves and whatever and they go on so yeah it's a kind of a i wouldn't walk around like in public barefoot mm-hmm. yeah that's but, what i mean i mean at my house on my property all the time on oh, my property <laughs> <laughs> her estate yeah, right. yeah. get off my property <laughs> <laughs> i i don't like i don't like being barefoot at all ever only i don't know my feet are flat dude i'm exactly that's the one Thing that you and I have in common, right there. <laughs> right there, we found it. We've been trying to find it well, all these years. We both like wine. No, I know, but those uh, are all very general things. Uh, it's yeah. like ninety-nine oh, percent right. of the world but likes the to drink. Barefoot you know? thing, where, where. But the thing about barefoot is, like, for the most part, people like being barefoot. Hmm. My stepdaughter loves being barefoot. I hate, I hate watching people walk around barefoot. <laughs> oh. I hate it. I, hate I don't it. have a problem with that. Jay, you have a problem being barefoot? You do? You do? Well, have I mean, I don't have a problem with it, but yeah. I'd, I'd rather have socks on. You'd rather have something on your feet. All right. All right, so the pizza thing. Should we should we uh, call somebody about this? Complain about it? What do you mean? Call who? I mean, the, the insurance thing, yeah. Man, Maybe we ought to they're not going out of business. Their, uh, we should put it on the hot dog list. We get Haley to go pick up a pizza and drop it and see if they can uh, get back. Yeah, we could, we could film it, right? Yeah. Yeah, kind of like a Letterman bit. I, I think we should. I think we should have a. <laughs> There's a lot of people that listen. Like, who's Letterman? <laughs> <laughs> we can. I think we should have a list of things that that should go away. The hot dog roller, right? You weren't here last week, Bob. The hot dog roller. What? You want the hot dog roller? No. No, you do not. I don't like hot dogs really. I only eat it if it's like grilled. But yeah. other than that. But it's still the same hot dog. Yeah, but it just tastes better. Yeah, of course it does. Yeah, anything on the grill. <laughs> if you boil better. it or it's microwave true. it, it's disgusting. So. Microwave. <laughs> You ever had a microwave, microwave a hot dog? That's Look disgusting. She's horrified. Exactly. <laughs> no, that could, that happens. Only if it's grilled. What? I'm sure I've done it. Huh? I've Hell never yeah, heard I'm sure of that. Oh my I'm God, sure bro. I've done it. I don't eat garbage food, but I'm sure I've done that. Mm. Right after a foot rub, maybe. <laughs> no, but. my first <laughs> foot rub was this year, dude. Right? Really? The first one? Cloud Nine. Awesome. Really? So it's cheap. I came out and I was like. Oh, well, that'll be twenty dollars, and I was like, "What?" I was in there for like an hour. I was like angry. I was like, "You guys aren't g- not going to stay in business if you charge so little." Bro, you guys know about these foot rub places? No, huh? I've heard of them. I haven't been to one. First of all, I got basically half massage before I even got my my, my they got to my feet. Really? Was yes. it like strobe lights on in there and shit when you went? No, in? no, no. <laughs> like you literally, it's like it's like super quiet, and there's other but they're spread out. Other people lay in there getting their feet rubbed. Oh, so it's a big room with everybody getting their feet rubbed. Yeah, but it's like, just imagine you can't see anything. What's the name of this place? Cloud Nine. Oh, I thought you oh, meant thought you, you were on, on Cloud Nine. That's what I oh, thought, too. When, <laughs> when do I speak like that? Well, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's like Cloud Nine, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just a bad reference. Yeah. Well, we, I think we shall go. By the way, I have a... Yeah, if you did the podcast while we were getting foot rubbed... Can we do that? Un- no, you can't bring all this equipment in there. Why not, Jay? Can we hook this up? Can we do an on-location uh, podcast yeah, at the foot? Would fo- be a task. But- yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can really get this to work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That would suck. I think we should do an on-location foot rub uh, party, huh? Okay. I bet we could bring. Hey, have I been doing this today? Yeah, a little, when you started out there in the, the Timmy story, you did. Oh shit! I was angry. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta tell me. You know, yeah. I mean, you know, what I thought about last week. What? You should tie my hands here. <laughs> just tie my hands behind my back here, and then that way I'll just be like, yeah, yeah. "All right." What was that? What was that movie when they dragged around the dead guy the whole time? Remember that? Mm-hmm. Anyway, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna start up a um, weekend at Bernie's. That yeah, that's, that's it. We're gonna start a we're gonna start a, a another old a reference. list. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna start There's a list of shit that that's gonna, that's gonna go away. So I think I'm gonna start a list. Don't you think that's a good idea? What are you gonna do? Mm-hmm. Start a list of shit that should go away. Hot dog roller. Mm-hmm. And the second one is the 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 uh, dom- Domino's insurance. The yeah. Well, that's just got to go away. I mean, if you're not paying for it, I don't mind keeping it. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's stupid. <laughs> <clears throat> what about McDonald's? Uh, have you seen this? That they they will take any currency now. What really? Any currency. What's the point of that? I don't know. I have no idea. I think it's stupid. Is it here in the states? Yeah. Well, so who walks you, around with other currency well, in the state? People coming in from. Oh, uh, okay, okay, yeah, sure. I mean, like New York, and you know, imagine people flying in have pesos. Hey, you know what? I'm I'm going to tell you what. If you are in New York, people coming to visit tourists, and they're like, I've never had McDonald's from the U.S., and that's something that interests them. It's kind of smart. You can get a lot of people in there before they even change their money over. How Although, how does it, how does the employee deal with that? 
You can barely get someone to, to make change. There's probably a screen that has a big button there like... Who's, who's sending us these messages? You're up. Huh? Who's sending us these messages? Oh, Jay's getting there. Who is it? Oh, that's 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 uh, Eric. That's, that's Eric. It is? Yeah. Is that what that number oh. is? Yeah, the brother of Beyonce. 619? <laughs> Don't yeah, give, keep going. Don't give, don't give out the number. Oh, yeah, but what's this? <laughs> what's 619? Where is that? Um, Where does he drive from? Does he drive two from? hours, bro. Come Hang on. Hi, huh, yeah. He drives two hours? Two hours to be here. Oh, my Lord. And he's going to be here the next two uh, next two weeks. Uh, I'm going to bring him the goods then. Well, yeah, I, mean, I think you guys should meet early before the show. No, no, no. Uh, I, uh, I, I got to go freestyle. Yeah, all right. Anyway, so, so McDonald's is doing that, but... but uh, did you see? I actually was on the news uh, this morning. The dude that uh, went to Five Guys and beat the shit out of the the teller because they didn't answer the phone. <laughs> and he, he how to, did how was he sure that it was the same person? I don't know. I don't know. Mike, I can see if you can pull that. Our, uh, our we have um. I have any ones. Yeah, crack me off a half of one. Bob, it made cookies. Oh, we're all out, dude. Being a female employee, but it's why police Here say go. he did it, then it's really bizarre. Yes, apparently he was mad that no one answered the phone when he oh. called. <laughs> Look at him. Our Sophia Beausoleil is at the Five Guys where this they, happened. I think they're going to show it up. thousand block of Garth Road. She joins us live now. They're going to show this again, but doing? he clocks this girl. We're told the employee is okay and she's back at work, but you can see behind me that they've now hired a they're security guard after what happened earlier this week. A punch over a phone call. That's what police say led up to this assault wow. captured on surveillance video at a Five Guys Burgers and Fries in Baytown. It happened around 5 p.m. on Tuesday. How angry he came into the restaurant be? apparently already upset, uh, claiming that he had tried to call the restaurant and nobody answered. Baytown police say the man started threatening employees, and when they told him to leave... He literally just jumps over yeah. the counter oh. and, and goes straight at the, uh, the the female manager and starts physically assaulting her. The video shows the man strike the I told you I wanted four times. Three Another worker tries to get the customer off the woman, and they run to the French back. Fries. The suspect then climbs over the counter and walks out. I'm had it with you guys. Shot. I mean, you know, for a, for a restaurant Look. like that, for a customer to come in to be that I said upset. French fries. Lieutenant Steve Doris says someone at the police department recognized the man in the video. Wow. That's how they were able to identify him as 39-year-old Justin Nobles. Uh, along with some other things, uh, there was a... Uh, a phone number associated with our suspect, and we were able to match that to a phone number that had called. All right, the you restaurant. can shut that up. Mark. Is that crazy or what? And police say that they did make. What do you think about all that? Pretty good cookies, huh? Thanks. It's funny how long it took the other employee to kind yeah, of. Nobody does anything anymore. Right to kind of look like she was going to help. Did you, you see that? Yeah, they just stood there. Well, uh, you, part of you is in shock, though, right? Yeah, but is that what you meant? She didn't even try to break it up. Uh -huh. yeah. Is that? Yeah, just stood there. Well, yeah, nobody defends still. anybody anymore. I said three cheese burgers. <laughs> People are afraid to get involved. Yeah. Because everybody gets sued over stupid shit. Well, I think it's like that. Is that you, they're, they're lunatics and he's freaking going to get knifed. Could S be. Seriously, that dude, that was a big dude and he, he landed some serious punches. Oh, I'd find the first weapon I could find. Would you? Would you? Yeah, I mean, like, okay, here's the thing. He's hitting this woman. I work in there. Yeah, I'm not sure. But I work in a restaurant. Give a knife, stick it in this dude's neck and have that be on the video. I'd be like... The next person thinks about it, and they're like, eh, I'm probably not going to hit anybody. You know, you never know. I wish we could, like, plant assassins in some of these places. <laughs> just be like, you know, you want to get pissed off? Oh, you really want to get pissed off? And just put, like, one move in their face, and they, like, get paralyzed or something. I think it's going to come to a day where you're going to push a button, and your, your, uh, your drone's going to come off the wall. That shit's real. No, with our phones, everybody's carrying their phone. All they got to do is zap your phone, and you're like, eh. You're out. I am because this is like everybody's. Like, Jay, do they have those things? Device. Don't they have those stun stun things on uh, on phones now? Uh, I don't think so. Um, what do you think of that, Monica? They would do you have would, the little micro drones though? If that if that anybody. dude jump jumps over the counter and you're at the five guys, what would you do? Run. Hmm. Me too, Bob. It. No. What would you do? I would fight. He's huge. You don't. So I'm scrappy. I don't like right fighting. Between the legs. That too. What would you do? Take him right between the legs. No, I mean, if yeah. I was a, a girl, you know, that's the best thing. Hmm. You like dressing up, Jay? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't even know what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where it came from either. I just thought I'd ask. He's a little, he's a little sluggish today. He stayed up late last night. Really, Jay? Yeah. 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 And he, he didn't even work either. He just was I'm up late. Nothing. <laughs> 
What is it? Some, oh, you, you got somebody here? Oh. Yes. Oh, good. Maybe our... Um, yes. <laughs> maybe our, our chef is here. Cool. So what else did... Uh, hey, did um, did you see this uh, yep. Gold, Golden State yep. deal when the, and uh, Carl, uh, Carl Lowry... Oh, I saw it live. I mean, not at the place, but I remember looking at it and when they did the replay. I was like, that's no, no mistake. That dude that shoved... Oh, for sure. Yeah, you, you know who he is, right? He's one of the investors. Yeah, he's one of the part owners of the damn team. Good. And you know what the fine is? Can't go for a year. A year and a half million dollars. Good for them. Right? Yikes. Hey, you know what? Kyle Lowry, mm -hmm. as a professional basketball player, he he was very cool about yes, it. Because if somebody did that shit to me, and I was that size, oh. And then that guy would get kicked off the, out of the NBA for a year or whatever. Mm. So That's right. Thank goodness. That he, he, you know, yeah. he kept his wits about him because it was unreasonable. He reached o reached over two people to to push his arm. Yeah, like like almost like he, like he was attacking. Yeah, hey, you're in the front row. There's a liability if you're in the front row. Well, I think, I you know, obviously the shove was nothing really. It was just the idea that the guy shoved him. But I think that was the words. I no one's saying what he said, but I guess it wasn't very nice. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't even know there was anything set. Yeah, the guy, um, according to Carl Lowry, he, he was running his mouth, and it was probably, I don't know. I don't, oh, wanna, I don't want to say it was racial, but it, I felt. Okay. He was probably drunk. I don't know, but he. he don't, a, don't be drunk in, in, the, in the front row. Right? That's really important. Right, and he's a half million dollars. Uh, what's going on, Monica? What happened? Is he he's lost? Here. He's here. He's here now? Yeah. All right, you want to run down and grab him? Yeah. Oh, we'll write it down because we don't. We don't want all these. We don't want all these freaks coming through our studio. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I bet Timmy's on his way now. Are right, you guys son know, of a bitch? You guys know a little bit about this dude? Yeah, I got one okay, page okay, on good, him. Good, good, good. Yeah, you're gonna help me though. You're gonna lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lead, you're gonna lead this. Thing. No, 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 man. Um. Hey, so, so I got more breaking news. Okay. Are you excited? Mm -mm. Bradley Cooper. What about him? You heard about this, Bobby? No. He's pregnant. No, Jay. Bradley Cooper? Yeah. I haven't heard Uh Getting divorced. Who's he married to? Doesn't make any difference. Uh, a, ru <laughs> a, a, ru a Russian <laughs> a Russian model, by the way. Is who he's married to? Yeah. Oh, I think I've seen her on the on the red carpet. Yeah, she's she's pretty smoking, yeah. Yeah. What are you guys thinking? No, I'm not thinking he wants to go for Gaga. Bradley Cooper? I don't buy it. That's what you're thinking? Well, I think that's what the world wants to think. No, come Wait, on. What? Give me a break. Huh? So well, of course, we remember when that whole thing came out, and they were they were singing that song. I mean, that the whole the whole mm. the whole world predicted this that would happen. <laughs> if that happened, dude, that's gonna be so lame. <laughs> and it really is. It's like oh, we fell in love, you know, at the shooting of what what's the name of the movie? Your star, star? star is born. A star is born. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cheesy, man. Bradley Cooper, I have no respect for you if that's what happened. Yeah, seriously, Bob it. Yawn. Really? Yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah. yeah, it's useless. Yeah. Well, I guess... I don't know. I mean, like, he's cute. But, like, at the same time, it's like... It's, I don't know him. I don't know him like that. Yeah. What's the, what's the no? Jay knows him like that. Uh-uh. Bradley Cooper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hey, guys are yeah, tight. Yeah, yeah you, you guys go back, right? Sorry, dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. Anyway. Nice guy. <laughs> he's he's got a nice, a nice wife. Yeah, well, he did. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's not that shit's not happening anymore. What about um, what about Family Feud? Oh my god, I love that show. Do you really? Yeah, my grandpa loves it. I want to put it on the Steve list. Steve Harvey. Yeah, it's yeah, got to go. Steve Harvey. <laughs> it's got to go. That guy. No. That, that guy's got a good career, man. I love Steve Harvey. I think yeah. God bless Steve Harvey. Yeah, he's I got. Like Steve Harvey. He's got twelve. Him and his mustache. He's got twelve <laughs> and then big old lips. I he love the big lips. I love when he made that mistake. Uh, I love when he made that. I, the Miss America. Amazing. Oh yeah, that yeah. was so good. Yeah. To me, that oh, oh was yeah. the Oscars? No, it was Miss America. It was no, Miss, yeah, it was Miss America. Yeah, he, he read the wrong name. Yeah. So good. It's so good. No, did he read the wrong name? Yeah, he read the wrong name. He had him, to take the tiara off the girl and put it on the other one. Oh. Yeah. Well, I, I know all that happened, but I thought that they gave him the wrong. No, that was the Oscars when he had the wrong card. Someone, the the, the company, the the audit company. Gave, that was the Oscars. That was the Oscars. Yeah. They gave him the wrong card. So yeah, Steve Harvey just read the wrong, the runner up, <laughs> and then the, and then the person who actually won. But the Family Feud, come on, bro. This is it's funny. This is 35, 40 years old. This show. Remember yeah, but it's Richard Dawson? With Steve, Steve, oh, well, it's better with Steve Harvey. 
than the other guys. <laughs> well, and why is it better with Steve Harvey? I don't know, because he's funnier. C- can we say how? Can we say how he? I mean, <laughs> Richard yeah. Dawson used to kiss all the ladies in yeah, the yeah, and he, and he yeah. held the cards like this. With him, and then, <laughs> that guy was great. Yeah. That guy was great. Yeah, I mean, he he can. I don't know what do you call it. He plays off his. Steve Harvey plays off his his personality. Okay, well that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All of a sudden, he can talk different, and he can get away with it, and he can do the swag, you know. Because he all. has it. Yeah, yeah. You think he? You think he? Uh, he goes the other way, dude, or what? No, 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 no. 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 What? Bob knows what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? I just. I, no. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you in love with Steve Harvey, dude? I think he's a cool guy. Is the door locked? It might be locked. Oh. Damn it, Bob. It. Yes. Um, I, I I don't know if I want to say it on air. I don't know. Why I brought it up, but he can. can, can he can. Uh, he can play it. He can play it weird. Chef, how are you, man? How are you? How are you? <laughs> how are you doing, brother? We're gonna. we Chef. Why, why don't you? We're oh. right in the middle of the show, but come on over here and sit down, and we're gonna start up another show in a second. We're just gonna wrap this up. Appreciate you coming. Um, I, I don't want to. I don't want to say, but I think he can. He can talk a certain way, and he can do the whole thing, and he can make it funny and and play it up. Just like the other dude, kiss all the girls. Well, he's, it's no, kind it's of, it was kind of his, his gag. Yeah. Well, anyway, I think the show needs to go away. No. I think it's. I think it's. I, I strongly disagree. Uh, it's entertaining. It is. Did you know that he had um, what's his name on? Um, they had uh, um, basketball players on it two days ago. They had Steph Curry and. Um, Rock- Steph Curry gets on my nerves. What? Yeah, because <laughs> he because cho- he chews the mouth guard, right? He's just so deliberate, and like he kind of has that Derek Jeter, like I'm gonna walk this way. He wasn't like that four years ago. You know, when he when he doesn't have the mouth guard, when he's not chewing on the mouth guard, I think he's an okay guy. I mean, off off court, he's like a super nice guy. I think. No, I, I'm good with that. I'm saying just how he acts on on. on I agree. Court. I think he acts like a punk on that. Yeah, on <laughs> he's a good shooter, but he acts like a like a dweeb. Like they were lo- <laughs> they were losing big time. Yeah, they were. The game was over, and he shoots a three, and he kind of like walked away, walked away like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, huh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. You know. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't like the swagger, but um, you know when you know when uh, um, uh, what's his name came on on the team the Tim. What's the other star that came on the team? I'm thinking. Oh, uh, KD, KD. KD. When he came on and he got more money than than Steph, right? Remember that was a big thing. And why are they paying this guy more? And and Steph is the 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 leader of the yeah, team and all sure. this shit. They asked him. And they said, what, "What do you think about this guy getting more money than you?" And uh, I like his answer. And he says, "You know, my dad told me a long time ago, never count another man's money." Oh, that's 100 percent true. Yeah, yeah, that's a cool saying. So I I think the guy's a stand up guy off 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 air. Or off court, yeah. But uh, or cool guy. Anyway, so we got a we got a guest in house, and we're probably we're gonna get right to that, and uh, we're gonna start out the next show. Anything you guys want to add, Monica? Anything you wanna wanna Jay? Anything you wanna share? Nothing about last night. No. Yeah. <laughs> Bob, thanks for bringing in the cookies. Yeah. And uh, we we actually uh, save the chef who saved a cookie there for you if you want to <laughs> get to that. So. Uh, we appreciate you all, all listening in. Remember, you can go to the YouTube channel and, and look up the Recipe Podcast, and you can see all our shows there, and please play them and share with a friend. Also, we want you to, uh, if you're missing the, 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 the comedian show, Unplugged, that's the Recipe Unplugged. You have to go search that show differently, so make sure you search Recipe Unplugged and download and subscribe and tell all your friends to listen to that show. We appreciate that. Also, we want to we want to thank all our sponsors again: Dunkin' Coffee, Aceway Incorporated, Texas Beef Council, the Scuffia School of Culinary Arts, and American Culinary Federation. Appreciate you guys all listening, and uh, and we will see you next time. How you doing, Chef? Nice to meet you, man.